Hello, this is David and this is Jerry. We're with DW Pro Lights. And we've got a whole bunch of different types of customers, whether it's homeowners, professionals, or designers. This is a great place to be able to get product. We are actually inside of Decorators Warehouse. It's uh, Texas' number one Christmas store. It's one of the largest stores, Christmas stores in the nation. And so it's over 60,000 square feet of retail space. And we have stood the test of time. For over 30 years, we've been in business delivering great product. Have you ever wondered how difficult it is to put up Christmas lights? Have you ever wondered how, how to safely put up Christmas lights? Well, we can help fast track you on the process to be able to put up your Christmas lights this season. This is something that you can do. Now, if you feel a little uncomfortable, don't worry. We have tons of professionals that we partner with in order to be able to put up your Christmas lights. So come on in. They are the best across the nation. They know what they're doing and they can do it easily and they'll make it nice and fast for you. You know, I remember when I was growing up and my dad put up the Christmas lights and it just made the whole season awesome for me. He was my hero that we can show you how to be the hero for your family, your friends, your neighborhood, or heck, the city. So one of the first things that we're gonna talk about is the C9 LED bulbs. So you're ready to be the hero and light up your house. Well, what's the first thing you need? Light bulbs. That's right, and the most popular is the LED C9 bulb. Why LED? Well, they use less power than a traditional incandescent bulb, so your electric bill and your wallet will thank you, and they're just as bright, in fact, even brighter, than a traditional bulb. And they're cool to the touch. Oh yeah, very nice. Now these things, these bulbs are very long lasting. In fact, most manufacturers have them rated for 35,000 plus hours, which is a really long time. So you're not having to replace all those bulbs and strands over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then, so also we have C9 light bulbs, but in addition to that, we have five millimeter lighting strands, strings of lights. And so we use those for? Well, you can put them in bushes, you can wrap trees, throw them in wreaths. I mean, really, the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing about the C9 light bulbs is that they're not gonna light themselves. So we need the accessories to be able to light these things up. That's right. But before you do that, you gotta pick your style. So we have our faceted bulb here which you can see it's kind of got these little diamonds on and our, most of our professional installers like this one because it doesn't matter what angle you look at it from, you get the same amount of brilliance. Now next, we have our smooth light bulb and this casing is great because it kind of resembles a traditional incandescent bulb. But I think uh, another bulb, in fact my favorite, is our frosted It's traditional. Here. It's very traditional, just like me. <laughs> there you go. And so now, let's go ahead and talk about the installations, accessories that you'll need to light these up. Okay, so now let's talk about some socket cord. The socket cord is what you use to be able to screw in the C9 light bulbs to be able to get them to light up. And so on the socket cord, we have them in different spacing. We have them in 12 inch spacing, which is the standard. It's what most people use. We also have it in six inch spacing. If you want to go full Griswold. Yeah, so you can get more lights, per linear foot if you go six inch spacing, twice as many lights to be exact. And then also we have 15 inch spacing for those that would like to have a little bit more spacing in between each bulb. And so what's cool about this cord is, is that you can actually cut the cord. And so it's as simple as using scissors, wire cutters, whatever you want to be able to cut it. And so feel free to cut it. And we have connectors. We've got connectors to be able to use the line. And so you can customize that at whatever length. So you have the socket cord. Uh, you've got the 12 inch spacing, uh, six inch spacing, as well as 15 inch spacing to be able to put your C9 light bulbs in. But then also when you think about attaching them to the roof line. Right, so we like to light our houses in stages. So the very first stage is, as David said, the roof line. Mm -hmm. Now we have a wide variety of clips that we can use for this purpose, but essentially you just clip each socket here and then you can put it on the roof. And that just makes it so much easier than having to be up on the ladder as you're clipping it. So we have the roof line and then also we have another stage which would be the ridge line. Right here, yeah. Now the ridge line is really great to do as our second stage. Yep, so if you have a, a roof line that takes 150 feet, well your ridge line will take about the same amount of feet as well. And so we have the ridge clip, which just actually snaps on to the ridge line very easily. And also it does not damage your shingle. So it just slides right on and then you have the clip will clip onto the bulb. So you've got the roof line uh, that has the shingles as well as gutters. And so a lot of our clips work for gutters as well as the drip edge. But then also we have the ridge line, which we can light that up as well. 
And then you have the ground. So what kind of clips do we use for the ground? So we don't actually use clips, we use stakes. <clears throat> now stakes are great because, as you can see, it just goes straight into the ground. And just like our other clips, it's a very, very easy installation. And with this little lip here, you can push it down and not have to worry about that hard Texas soil that's almost like clay. No doubt. And so for the stakes, you use them to outline the sidewalks. You use them for your driveway uh, and also outlining flower, flower beds. beds. Yeah, flower yeah. beds are great as well. Those are some insulation accessories that you can use to be able to put up the lights on your roof line as well as the ground. And so with the socket cord, you can customize that at whatever length. You can cut it, you can make it work that way very easily. And that's one of the best tips that you can use to professionally light up your house. And so with the socket cord, we also have- Lamp cord. Yeah, because David, I mean, how do I light my house? I have three dormers and several gables on different levels. Well, you need electricity to it. You gotta get electricity from your receptacle or your outlet in order to get it up to your roof line, to your gables, uh, or to your ground for the stakes. So you can use this lamp cord just like you would the socket cord. This is the exact same cord. It is just like the socket cord, but it does not have any sockets installed on there. So you can cut it and you can use these connectors. You can use a metal connector and we'll have videos that will be specific for this process of installing the connectors. And so you're gonna begin the line with a male connector, and then you can end the line with a female connector. And what's neat about the female connector is that you can actually use that as a inline connector along your cord. So whenever you're lighting your roof line and you want to get electricity to your wreath that's up on the house, you can actually install a female connector along the line to be able to do that. And so those are some easy tips and tricks on being able to light up your roof line with lights and to be able to do it uh, with a nice clean look that professionals will always deliver. Yeah, gone are the days where you're trying to hide extra light and extra feet in, yep. in places where people won't see. Instead, you make it fit your house. Nice. So you have two options. You can come into the store, uh, you can buy the product from us, and uh, or you can go online to dwprolights.com uh, and purchase there as well. And so, and also you've got two options on the installation. You can do it yourself and we can show you how with more video resources that we'll have, as well as you can get lined up with a professional. We've got tons of professionals that are lined up with us, that are partnered with us to be able to help you get your lights safely on the roof.